Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna jump into my trading results from specifically my day trading, my one day trade every morning for the month of February. I wanna break that all down for you, show you exactly what happened this month, and sort of give you an explanation on the front end of how I transferred brokers, and then we'll get into the actual dollars and cents of it all, and I will show you everything from this month. So to kick things off, I first wanna just talk about the end of 2020, I was with Thinkorswim, and things were going really badly. I was getting a lot of order fills that were delayed, the notification that comes back to tell you you were filled, sort of hangs everything up, and it was causing the price action of the stock to jump over my stop loss, leading to large losses that Thinkorswim would have to then go back and credit for me. So it became kind of a disaster. I was having to call in to support about two to three times per week, and that was just, it was unacceptable to me, and making these lightning quick trades, I need reassurance that I'm not gonna be blown out because it just happened to miss my stop loss on you know, a random Tuesday or whatever. So with that being said, I switched to interactive brokers, IBKR, and I use IBKR Pro, and I pay $25 a month for NASDAQ quotes, and I pay commissions, usually with my share size right now of about 1,400 shares. Um, round trip, I pay about $15, and I'm, I'm completely good with that. It's been amazing so far. So I just wanted to tell you that that's kind of what this, how this year has started off is me transitioning to a new broker. So that being said, IBKR transition, I couldn't go full size right out of the gate. So starting in February, when I had my account ready to go, I went ahead and I started with 100 shares, and then I moved to, I think, 250 shares and then 400 shares, and I was slowly phasing myself in. So I'm going to show you this. I'm actually going to do a little calculation for you while we're, while we're doing this. But if I quickly jump into TraderView.com, and I'm going to plug this real quick, if you go to the description or you go to the banner of the YouTube page, click the Trader View with view being V-U-E, as you can see on the screen here, click the Trader View link, and that will take you to a page where you can sign up for a Trader View account. And I want to thank everyone because I noticed like 14 or 15 people have signed up so far. But if you pay for a subscription and you upload all your trades to this platform, it will give you so much information that will help you make decisions moving forward on your trades. And it also gives a little kickback to the channel taking trades. So I always appreciate it when people sign up. So click the link, check it out. If it works for you, give it a go. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. Let me know. I'll answer them there. So now let's jump in. Here's TraderView. I'm logged in and I have things filtered. And I'm going to move myself maybe let me move myself over here for a second. All right. So right now you can see I've got the filter on from Feb 1st to Feb 28th and you just click filter and that will go ahead and get you all set up for what's going on. So you can see total gain loss, $1,177.89, okay? That's on my phased in schedule, that's not full size. Um, that's that's a, a blunted return because of me having to slowly work my way up to full size. And the reason for taking my time getting back to full size is because I didn't fully understand the platform yet and I didn't want to go in with full size on day one and have a big disaster and have a major setback on the P&L. So I started slowly and eased my way in. Now what I want to do here is I do want to show you, just want to kind of get out of the way here. Um, <clears throat> I want to show you if I click on the overview tab, it'll take me over here and you can see on this calendar, I have it just filtered for February. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six green days, okay? So if I have six green days, and each one of those days I win 2.5R, that would be 15 Rs. And then you take the red days, which are one R losers, because I always, when I win, I win two and a half units. When I lose, I lose one unit. So if I take 15, and I subtract one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red days, because they're all one unit. If I go ahead and subtract seven from 15, that leaves me with eight R. So February for me was officially an eight R month, which is a little slower than normal, 
But if I take eight and I multiply that by my R value, and my R value for February, I maintained it at $360. That was January's R value, but because of this sort of disaster of switching brokers, I just carried the 360 forward to February and used that for February as well. So I'll multiply that by 360, and that comes out with 2880 So $2,880 was the official profit of this month if I would have been full size with 8R at a $360 R. Now, to show you the scalability, say you're risking $500 R, I'll do the calculation here, that would make this a $4,000 month. Now, if you were risking $1,000 per trade, this would have made this an $8,000 month. So you can see the power and the scalability, especially when you're trading a liquid stock. I trade AMD. It's super liquid, super tight, bid-ask spread. So it makes it very, very tradable um, every single day of the week. So with that being said, I'm going to click the year, month, day, just to kind of show you the platform a little bit. But you can see here that my performance, this says by year, but remember I'm filtered for just for uh, February. You can see that 1789 up here in the, in the upper right hand corner. So it gives you a nice layout of exactly what's going on. You can click weekly and it'll show you week by week how you did. I had three green weeks, one red week. And it just breaks it all down for you there. Then if I go over to detailed, here's where you're gonna see a lot of power in the 2.5 to 1 win to loss ratio. Look at this. I only won 46.2% of the trades. Less than 50% yet came out with what would have been almost $3,000 profit. And that ended up being six winners and seven losers. I lost almost 54% of the time. So the power of winning larger than you lose. Now remember, I have to win 29% of the time to break even to make a tiny bit of money. So really 30% or greater, I'm making money. This month was 46.2%. If I go to previous months, you'll see how it shifts. Um, if I go to something like, let's go to December real quick. I'll just give you a quick example. So if I go to December 31 and I click filter, you'll see here, boy, that's kind of interesting too. So in December, I only won 46.7% of the time and I lost 53.3% of the time, and yet I made um, almost $4,400. And that was at a $300, let's see, a $310 R, I believe that was. So you can see scalability, sticking to a plan, letting the results play out, it's all super important, and in the end, it all plays out if your strategy wins roughly 50% of the time, or even in the 40s, as you can see I'm having here. Um, if I go back, let's just see what November looks like. Just want to see if we can, it's just powerful to be able to filter it and then look at, so in November I won 53% of the time and lost 47% of the time. So you can see every month's a little bit different, but roughly hanging around that 50% mark and then you get a cumulative P&L graph to show you where you were every day as you, as you hover these. Um, it's super helpful. Uh, TraderView has been amazing. And then you can also see my drawdowns. You can see how much I was down at any one time. So in November, at one point I had a $1,080 drawdown before I came back out. So I hit a winner, then I was down 600, down 445, and then I was out of the drawdown. So it's kind of interesting how that all works. Um, I'm going to go forward to uh, February. And actually, I want to catch you guys up on March real quick. Because I was gone all last week trading on the road. I actually traded from a campground. And I just want to show you real quick. Um, this week was really good. It was a 66.7% win rate for the week. I had two winners, one loser. And then I had two scratches, so I only traded three times this week, but it ended up being a really nice week. And if I click, um, let's see, let's go back to overview real quick. And you can see last week, so just last week I made almost as much as I did in February as a whole month. So you can see like now I'm full size. So, so in March, I'm now trading 1,400 shares every single trade, which is a risk value of five, uh, sorry, $420 on each trade is what I'm risking. 
risking 420 to make 1050. 2.5 are 2.5 to 1 um, reward to risk ratio. So the first week of March was, was great. Two quick winners, one little loser. Um, and this one I caught a little slippage on. So it was a little uh, bigger loss than 420. This was actually the trade from the campground. So um, I was trading off a hot spot. I don't think that had anything to do with it. The platform performed really well, but it was just something I was aware of. But had two nice winners on Tuesday and Friday, didn't get triggered on Wednesday or Thursday, and then had one loser on Monday. So that was sort of how that first week played out. But as far as the month of February goes, everything went well. You know, it was a bummer that I had to scale in slowly because I obviously wanted to be trading full size after not trading in January because the transition to a new broker took so long. But um, I'm back full size, 1,400 shares for March. Likely will be 1,600 shares in April, 1,800 in May, and then official 2,000 shares in June. Um, and I'm just going to see real quick, 2,000 shares divided by 30 cents. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's going to be um, a lot coming at you. We'll keep moving forward. Um, I'm going to have new videos this week. We're going to get into my IBKR setup. A lot of you have been asking about that. So I'm going to get a video out on my setup for my Interactive Brokers platform. And we're just going to keep trading. Um, day trading one trade. Every single morning when it gets triggered, I only trade the short side. My metrics have been pointing in that direction. And another thing I want to get into maybe later this week is to talk about how my metrics are starting to point to not trading on Wednesdays. It's really interesting, but over hundreds of trades now, my P&L on Wednesday is a positive $19. So it's starting to show me that maybe Wednesdays aren't a good day to be trading AMD. The volatility to the downside may be not there. So that's going to be on the, um, on the docket to discuss. If you guys have any requests for videos, let me know what you want to see. I'm going to keep doing the monthly reviews after each month. I'm going to keep doing my daily videos as we get back in the swing of things here. And I'm also going to give you that interactive brokers sort of setup from scratch video where I'm just going to show you what I do. It's a very simple setup. It's very basic, but I, I take advantage of what they call presets. And I set my platform up so that when I log in in the morning, I literally click one button, move to the chart. When I'm ready to trade, I click that a button again, and then I confirm it, and the trade's on. And then really from there, the trade sort of takes care of itself. You can, you can be very hands-off with interactive brokers. So we will get into that very soon. Stick around for that. I want to tell everyone the Facebook group is surging. We're gaining so many members and I don't know why. So thank you to everyone for recruiting friends and family and people who are interested in trading. It's been fantastic. If you don't know about the Facebook group, click in the banner or in the description below. Come on over and join our free private Facebook group. I think we're almost, we're at like 280, I think. We're almost to 300 people. And then in the face or in the um, uh, YouTube channel, we're almost at 6,400 subscribers. We're like, we're marching towards 10,000. So I got to thank everyone for that as well. So come check us out on the Facebook group. Sign up for a TraderView.com account to support the channel. Come check us out. Um, we'd love to have you and we will see you tomorrow.